My name is Adam Greenfield, and I'm the Managing Director of Urban Scale Practice in New York City. I think the sense that a lot of the things that I take for granted, that I almost think of as cliche to the point that they might not even necessarily need to be stated, um, are yet very active, very live, very contentious fields of debate. Um, and that uh, it, it's sort of a personal reflection for me. It's not, it's not so much a, some of the global ideas coming out of the conference itself, if you'll forgive me, but marching orders for, for us in, in our practice. Mm -hmm. um, that we need to make much stronger and clearer uh, what our arguments are, why we believe in them, why we believe, uh, you know, what model of the public good is inscribed in the designs that, that we're trying to release to the world and, and offering to people. There's a class of objects that operate in, in public space that I think of as public objects. Uh, things that gather information, that process information, that display information, and are even capable of taking physical action on information. Uh, that almost it seems self-evident to me that we should be cautious, very cautious, and, and even concerned about uh, who collects that information, where it goes, what is done with it, how it's identified, uh, what it winds up being used for. It's, it's uh, close to being inarguable that uh, we have pretty good reason to be concerned about unwanted collection attempts um, or, or indeed um, porous boundaries around the collection of information. I think that history teaches us what that information is very often used for. And uh, that's what I'm going to take away with me, is that uh, we need to be very, very much more concrete about why we think the things we do, the, uh, the, the, the evidentiary support we bring to that. Maybe it's appropriate that so many people here are from faculties of law. I, I kind of feel like I'm being taught to think like a lawyer in terms of the probative the probative value of statements. Mm -hmm. um, that's not necessarily a viewpoint that as designers uh, we're used to bringing to things, but uh, again, as participants in a public sphere, as actors in the public domain and public space, maybe it is incumbent upon us to mm -hmm. learn to think and speak like that. So that's what I carry away from the day.